Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you and your families are well. My name is Ana Pilgit Pegala. Welcome to Aprending Class Night Educational Platform English. Week 24, Level A1, and the topic is Lessons of Violence Against Women and Girls. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's think about the situations where it's identifying information specific, non text simple. Puedes relacionar información en inglés con imágenes que las representan. Puedes organizar tus ideas para crear una infografía sencilla. Puedes expresar una idea o un mensaje en un texto escrito sencillo y breve. Today, we are going to talk about that, our learning purpose. Leer dos infografías sobre la violencia contra mujeres y niñas. Identificando vocabulario y frases que permitan presentar información relevante sobre algún tema. Además, elaborar tu propia infografía en inglés para crear conciencia sobre la violencia contra las mujeres y las niñas en el mundo. Ok, you have to consider these characteristics or criteria. It's very, very important. Let's continue. Activity one, speak up. Vocabulary. This chart is very important to use. Okay, so let's practice. Look at the picture, let's match the picture with the words. What about picture one? Good idea, Bill. Next, excellent force. And next, of course, kick. Listen and repeat. Build, build, force, force, kick, kick. Okay, next, let's continue. Injuries, great. Next, partner. Good job. Push. Perfect. What about picture seven? Spend time. Great idea. And picture eight, unwanted friend. Okay? So listen, repeat. Injuries. Injuries. Partner. Partner. Push. Push. Spend time. Spend time. Unwanted pregnancy. Unwanted pregnancy. Well done. Let's continue. Let's match the picture with the correct type of violence, okay? Sexual violence. Good job. Your partner forces you to have sex. Psychological violence. Excellent. Your partner controls you and humiliates you. Physical violence. Your partner hits you or pushes you. Good. Great work. Let's go. Let's listen and read. Let's raise awareness about violence. 
violence against women. Violence against women and girls can take many forms. Physical, sexual, or psychological. One in every three women experience sexual or physical violence. It happens all over the world. There is more violence in some countries than others. Some consequences, depression, unwanted pregnancy, injuries. That is the end of section one. Now, do the exercises in understand exercise one. Okay, well, let's continue, let's understand. Exercise one, choose the correct option to complete a sentence about for graphics. Let me see the example. In a healthy relationship, you have time to spend with your friends and family, and you talk to find a solution to your problem. Very well. Now, according to infographic one, controlling your partners is an example of controlling, controlling, controlling. Ah, here. Great job, psychological violence. Number two, an example of physical violence, physical violence is physical violence. Oh, great. Pushing your partner. Yes. Number three, you can call 100 if help. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. You are a victim of violence and you know a victim of violence. Okay? Great. According to infographic 2, the three types of violence against women and girls are the three types. Oh, okay. Great. Yes, you're right. Physical, sexual, and psychological. Excellent. One in every three women is a victim of one in every three women. Ah, yes. A victim of sexual or psychological violence. Number six, one consequence of violence against women and girls are of consequence are here. Depression, unwanted pregnancy, and injuries. Great job. Okay, good. Now let's practice. Label the parts of the infographic. You can use the words from the box more than once. Follow the example. Look at this ah, picture. So you are going to use picture, message, reliable information or fact. Okay, look about number one. Good job, a message. Number two, excellent, reliable information. Number three, fantastic, reliable information. Number four, good idea, picture. And number five, a message. Well done. Exercise two, match each sentence with a graphic or picture. Follow the example. Reliable information pictures. Example. 35% women experience physical or sexual violence. Ah, yes. Should be. Number one. Violence has serious consequences in women's mental health. What do you think? Which picture is it? Fantastic picture. Violence against women normally comes from their partner. Mm -hmm, their partner. Great idea. Picture C. Violence against women and girls is a problem around the world. Perfect. Picture E. In a healthy relationship, partners respect each other. Excellent picture. Good. 
Listening comprehension is your turn. Exercise three, you're going to listen to a presentation from the United Nations about violence. Choose the message and picture that best represents the presentation. You will listen to the presentation twice. Okay, now activity two, do it yourself. Let's create. What are you going to do? Create an infographic to raise awareness about violence against women and girls. Okay, and you have two options. You follow option one, well, in this case, option A, and you follow the steps. Okay, or option B. Create an infographic about violence against women using information from other reliable sources. Okay, to decide for options A and B, you can use this suggested template, you know, the title, the picture, description of a healthy relationship, and the message. Okay, remember to take into consideration this chart, criteria, characteristics or criteria. Yes, in order to make a good product. Then you're going to share the product with your family, okay? Your teacher, okay? And let's reflect, okay? Uh -huh. You are going to color one or two, maybe, or three options, okay? What about conclusions? Okay. And finally, you are going to answer these questions. Please be honest. Okay. It's about your learnings from this week. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Great job. Thanks a lot.